In this video, we'll cover the process of installing Celeste 12 using virtual media. Before you begin the installation, ensure that you have iDRAC with Enterprise License. Turn on the system, click Virtual Media, and then click Connect Virtual Media. Click Virtual Media again, and then click Map CD DVD. In the Virtual Media Map CD DVD dialog box, click Browse to select the preferred drive, then click Map Device. Click Virtual Media to view the connected removable drive that is mapped to CD DVD. Now, reboot the system. Press F2 to go into the System Setup page. Select System BIOS. Click Boot Settings. And then click Boot Option Settings. In the Boot Option Settings page, click Boot Sequence. Here, you must ensure that the virtual optical drive appears first in the list, followed by the hard drive. Then click OK. Click Hard Disk Drive Sequence and ensure that the embedded SATA disk is the only device in the list. Click back until you can view the System BIOS Settings page. Click Finish and then click Yes in the Saving Changes dialog box. Next, click OK on the Success message to exit the BIOS settings. To exit from the system setup, click Finish and then click Yes to confirm the exit message. The system restarts automatically. Now, click Installation. The system loads the Linux kernel and then initializes the installation environment. Next, read the license agreement. If you agree to the license terms, select I agree to license terms and then click Next. The system now initializes the network configuration and displays the network devices available in the system. If you want to configure these devices, Click Edit, and if not, click Next to continue. The system now loads the probes connected to the related system files. After this is complete, on the registration page, type your email address and registration code, and then click Next. If you choose to skip registration, you will not be able to access the update repositories until registration has been completed. Continue to click Next until the Create New User Login page is displayed. Now create your profile by providing the details in the respective fields, then click Next. If you click Next without creating a user login, you will receive this message. After reading it, click Yes if you wish to proceed. Type the password in the password for your user and confirm password fields, and then click Next. In the event that the password entered is too simple, you will get a warning message. You can click Yes to continue or No to create a different password. The system now exports the configuration. After this is complete, click Install. Click Install again to confirm the installation. After the installation is complete, click OK to reboot the system. While the system is rebooting, you have to disconnect the virtual media. Click Virtual Media and then click Disconnect Virtual Media. Next, click Yes in the Closed Virtual Media dialog box. The system will now boot from the local disk. At this point, type in your username to log in to SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. The process is now complete. For more information and support items, visit dell.com forward slash support.